In this video, we're going to compare some photogrammetry mesh models to those same data sets, the same initial point cloud of tie points from the photogrammetry software that has been processed with the Gaussian splatting method. So we're going to compare the photogrammetry mesh with the Gaussian splatted point cloud running in Unity. Let's take a look at the photogrammetry model. We're looking at the textured mesh here in Agisoft Metashape, and I've just turned on the cameras and I'm rotating this around so you can see where I took the photographs from. And if I switch this to the untextured mesh, so just the, the polygonal surface model, uh, we can start seeing really the quality of this, uh, the 3D model here. And there's a few problematic areas. But overall, given the constraints of the conditions that I was photographing under, it turned out pretty well, I think. Now I'll turn on those key points. And this, what we're looking at right now, this point cloud, that is what was run through the Gaussian splatting method. And I'll turn on these, the tie and the key points here, and you can see those are all the points that were matched between the photographs. So those are the features that were found in a single photo in the photogrammetry, the structure from motion. Turning the texture back on, we can see that photogrammetry, there's only data in the model or the texture if there's a photograph of it. So of course here, where I was not able to take photos above this altar, there's no data there, there's no texture. It just blends the colors together. So a few things to make note of when we compare this to the Gaussian splatted model. Uh, the details in this highly reflective marble sculpture, the reflections on the columns on either side, and the sort of fine details of, for example, the, the arrow that that angel is holding. By the way, this is the Ecstasy of St. Teresa by Bernini. Uh, a fantastic Italian sculptor, and this is in the church of Santa Maria della Vittoria in Rome. And one more thing, another few key differences between the photogrammetry model and the Gaussian splatted point cloud are going to be the reflections on the columns and on other reflective surfaces, the fine details on that sculpture, and finally some of the reflections on the marble. Let's take a look at the Gaussian splatted model now. 